Good morning, everyone. God bless you. And thank you for participating in our beautiful broadcast today, the 19th of January, 2016. I'd like to share some more quips from Beloved El Moria for today. And many of these I received at the Los Angeles airport on Mona and my way back from Tucson because we flew from Tucson to LAX and then LAX to Bozeman. So Amoria says, multiply your divine interest. Multiply your divine interest. Being resplendent is inner work. Being resplendent is inner work. Look within to find yourself, with a capital S. Look within to find yourself. Enjoy a natural life. Enjoy a natural life. Fortify your inner stronghold. Fortify your inner stronghold. Muse on the processes of creation. Muse on the processes of creation. Free your inner fragrances. Free your inner fragrances. Refine your holographic impact. Refine your holographic impact. Every truth is self-evident, with a capital S in self. Every truth is self-evident. Grace relieves the pressures of unsavory lives. Grace relieves the pressures of unsavory lives. Smiles, embraces, and music are all part of a universal language. Smiles, embraces, and music are all part of a universal language. Only God can transform others. Only God can transform others. Heart-centeredness works wonders. 
heart-centeredness works wonders. The path of love always bears fruit. The path of love always bears fruit. Your greatest endowment is God's love legacy. Your greatest endowment is God's love legacy. Others' imperfections are all illusion. Others' imperfections are all illusion. And Omori equips back. And so are yours. <laughs> Choose to regard all beings as God does. Choose to regard all beings as God does. Seize every opportunity to love, give, and serve. Seize every opportunity to love, give, and serve. Every truth leads to reality and reality to God. Every truth leads to reality and reality to God. Just as fashion and fame are fleeting, so is tweeting. Just as fashion and fame are fleeting, so is tweeting. Miracles are the byproducts of prayer and grace. Miracles are the byproducts of prayer and grace. There are millions of unwinged angels. There are millions of unwinged angels.
daily populate the atmosphere with positive thoughts and feelings. Daily populate the atmosphere with positive thoughts and feelings. So the following quips were given later that evening. Inherit the kingdom now. Inherit the kingdom now. Every answer is linked to a new and higher question. Every answer is linked to a new and higher question. No creator would condone an unpopulated planet. No creator would condone an unpopulated planet. I am always aware of your vitals. I am always aware of your vitals. V I T A L S. Be my cream of the crop. Be my cream of the crop. I'm seeing it in French as creme de la creme, if I'm saying that correctly. Be my cream of the crop. Godliness is impelling. Godliness is impelling. Mindfulness is my disciple's conveyance. Mindfulness is my disciple's conveyance. Trust creates thrust toward us. Trust creates thrust toward us. Every planet is a schoolroom, every sun a teacher. Every planet is a schoolroom, every son a teacher. Renew your responsibility for the cosmos. Renew your responsibility for the cosmos. Transcendence is not taught. 
Transcendence is not taught. Experiencing God's presence is an eternal choice. Experiencing God's presence is an eternal choice. You are a variation on a sacred theme. You are a variation on a sacred theme. Every infant is an alchemist. Every infant is an alchemist. Let fly the treasures of your heart. Let fly the treasures of your heart. And just a moment ago, a bunch of Canadian geese took flight from our yard. <laughs> Because even cacti bloom, all can be mystics. Because even cacti bloom, all can be mystics. Pretenders often become offenders. Pretenders often become offenders. The untoward lack direction. The forward tapped. The backward wisdom. The untoward lack direction. The forward tact. The backward wisdom. Overcome egoic slavery. Overcome egoic slavery. Trend setters must yield to my ways, Ray. Trend setters must yield. To my ways, Ray. The impulse to love and to learn is life. The impulse to love and to learn is life. The violet light is a merciful solvent. The violet light is a merciful solvent. Graces sharing springs from caring. 
Graces sharing springs from caring. Hoping is more than coping. Hoping is more than coping. Without the motherhood of God, the cosmos could not feel. Without the motherhood of God, the cosmos could not feel. Intuition is the natural feminine sensing of reality. Intuition is the natural feminine sensing of reality. Faith shines, hope pines, love refines. Faith shines, hope pines, love refines. So I thank El Moria for these beautiful quips for today. And we are getting ready to move from Capricorn into Aquarius very soon. And my trust is that each of you will wrap up these cycles of God power within your own being in order to prepare for the thrust of God love and the cycle of Aquarius, during which time we'll experience our wonderful class our prayer vigil in the San Diego area in Vista, California, which is north of San Diego, and that we will truly make an impact on behalf of families, communities, nations with Beloved Mother Mary and the various Ascended Lady Masters who are coming to shine forth their light to bring this feminine aspect of God into play for the healing of so much of what has transpired in the last few generations of families being ripped apart, of cultures clashing, and of communities dissolving. I believe that we can generate so much love and divine enthusiasm through this event through our prayer work, our devotion to God, our singing and chanting, our time together in nature on the coast of California, that we will infuse new energy into the dynamic of togetherness, oneness, unity, first beginning within ourselves, then our families, our communities, and eventually our nations, so that there can be true brother sisterhood. There can be understanding and high regard for all life and for every culture and all peoples. When you have the breakdown of society and culture, obviously it starts and the breakdown of each person's spiritual life. And so when we are taught from early childhood principles and values that are godly, and we are shown and modeled how to comport ourselves in our daily lives toward one another with reverence, with high regard, 
then I believe that we can make progress in this area. When there is the crassness and the lack of gentility and sensitivity that often the media creates through the harshness of the bombardment of rock music and heavy rhythms and all the imagery that comes before our eyes, of course, it will break down the gentle sensitivities of our souls and make people more reactive and gross and less tender. So we have to rekindle this sense of the feminine aspect of God as the Divine Mother into our culture and civilization so that people will always have recourse to that which within them, within their soul, brings about harmony, peace, understanding, patience, and every aspect of the various virtues that we've studied that we hope and pray that we will model in our lives. So it's an opportunity for you to attend this event online or in person in order to generate this cosmic field of divine love, of charity, of appreciation, gratitude, thankfulness, and all of the sub-virtues of the pink ray of love so that we can activate higher frequencies within the earth where we live, around the world, and in those trouble spots to prevent greater confusion, trouble, violence, etc. When enough of us do this together and we congeal the energies of our causal bodies as a family, as a spiritual circle and family, the power that we do generate by God's grace, that God generates through us, is tremendous. And this can offset much that could occur if it is not transmuted. So these prayer vigils are times for us to go within and draw deeply from within ourselves our inner resources to give on the altar of humanity our highest selfhood so that we can, in this thankful state and gracious state of beingness, offer that which is our highest to humanity. So if you think that you have not been as creative as you could in this life as an artist, musician, composer, writer, someone who engages in the arts, put that aside because you are an artisan of the spirit. And some of the greatest artistic renderings that you have given and that you will continue to give in this life are on the altar of spirituality, where you simply perfuse love, you perfuse consciousness, you perfuse every iota of your soulfulness to humanity to give birth to this new world that we all seek to manifest in peace, brotherhood, and love, and freedom. So thank you for listening and participating and watching today. God bless you, and thank you, Alice Tucker, for always being there for our community and your great heart fire and your love and dedication. Take care.